Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Kip TV and I hope you packed your bags because today we are going to Borneo, the third largest island in the world, located north of Java, Indonesia and at the geographic center of Southeast Asia, Maritime Southeast Asia. Yeah, I pulled up Wikipedia to uh, look up Borneo. You got a problem with that? <laughs> Alright, right now we are watching Cognity, who's actually having a bit of trouble getting his act together on this first stage of a Borneo payload. Um, he is with Team Awesome Hybrid. Wait, no. He is with Equals 9. Team Awesome Hybrid is in blue and they are uh, attacking the first round. And Cognito is not going to have any sentry gun set up. Oh, I'm not sure what's going on right there. Could be a very high level advanced um, tactic that I'm just not aware of. I'm going to say he's a little unfamiliar with the map and got lost because I have done that too. Um, anyway, we're going to watch the heavy medic. Oh, I was going to say heavy medic combo, but in the heavy is not with his medic. So, interesting um, setup right here from equals nine. The heavy immediately going down because he was not with his medic. He was not overhealed. But red is still going to have that uber, um, which they do pop on the soldier. We'll see if he can't take down this heavy. He does take down the heavy, and um, but blue medic is going to be able to escape and fall back into spawn. Red, however, is just basically decimated right there in that opening push. Um, Cognity did manage to get some stuff down, but now being just harassed by that spy, Double Death takes down his dispenser, then takes down Cognity, and takes down his sentry gun. So right now, Team Awesome looking very good as they push on this first um, stage of Borneo Payload. Um, equals 9, Scout going down there. He might have been able to do something with flanks by going down. And right now we have times 8 on the cart, um, which you do not need at all. You need times 3 is the fastest the cart can go. So right now, Team Awesome Hybrid does manage to cap it, and there they go. Um, still on the cart, which is extremely dangerous. However, right now their pyro is doing a great job of reflecting all these stickies that are underneath their feet. Otherwise, um, that demo for Red Team... Zahasis could easily take down the entire team in with one detonated sticky or several detonated stickies. Anyway, um, blue ubers popped again. Um, oh no, the medic fell down off of the bridge but manages to hook up with his team and Unforgiven just doing a ton of um, damage right there as heavy doing great work. They gotta watch out for this pyro from behind. Oh, do get him. And there we go. Unfortunately though, um, Zahasis took down Draco the Dragon, their medic for Team Awesome, but Unforgiven is going to be able to... No, he's not going to be able to um, withstand um, Blackout Avenger, but then Blackout Avenger does go down himself. So, a lot of action going on, and it's only a minute of 40 into this first round. Absolutely crazy. Um, watch Cuttlefish as he is all decked out for the summer in his lovely pink um, hat and shirt combination with flip-flops. He's just looking so sunny right now. <laughs> I'm sure he'll appreciate me talking about him like that, too. He's just right out of the pages of J. Crew. Am I right, guys? I wonder if they have J. Crew in England or in Europe. This is, by the way, um, two European West UGC teams. Oh, here comes uh, Sordis from behind getting two 3Ks right there. That's the problem when your whole team is bunched up on the cart. A spy can come um, from behind and just have his way with the entire team. So, um... Gotta rethink their positioning on the these pushes. Um, right now, they are um, still a little bunched up and don't have those heavy classes either. Draco the Dragon, the Medic, does have an Uber right there. Oh, snap! Um, how did that... Turtle goes down to the heavy right there. Turtle was the uh, soldier. They are going to push into a level 2 sentry gun, but just not able to do anything with that uber. Very unfortunate, and Team Awesome is just kind of stopped in their tracks right now. Meanwhile, Equals 9 is pushing up. Um, also, Pignant is um, rocking the Huntsman. Um, not the best idea, I would say. Um, also, want to watch out for that spy. Can he get him? Um, actually, yes, did get the assist in there as Turtle came in with a rocket and cleaned up on that scout and spy. So, 
Blue is still left a little- oh, Black at Avenger is also rocking the Huntsman. Also, Black at Avenger was the heavy a minute ago. So, equals 9, again, in the red, is been doing some interesting uh, roster classes changes, so we'll see how that works for them. Usually, you want to keep your roster pretty um, steady the entire game. Here, Jimmy Jisball is... <laughs> Jimmy Jisball is an fun name to say, um, pops the uber on his soldier doing some nice work, taking down cuttlefish, um, not getting, actually doing a pretty good job of getting some kills right there and pushing back the blue team, uh oh, Jimmy is caught out, um, oh, goes down to double death and his knife, here comes the blue uber, popped on the demo but just not able to get in, that's really unfortunate right there, look at all these stickies just lined up ready to be detonated, oh, Oh no, Sorta again coming in from behind and getting 2Ks. Uh, meanwhile, we saw an excellent reflect there from the Boo Pyro. We weren't able to catch it on camera, but it was in the kill feed. So a lot of action going on and um, really, really interesting. Um, the game match so far, just kind of crazy. I really love the sentry position right here from Cognity. Um, he needs to wrangle it though, because he's going to be getting a lot of spam from well, uh, everybody basically, but well, actually yeah, he could be spammed right here from a soldier and um, if they get up right here, he could also be spammed um, a heavy or a soldier, demo could easily get it some pills in there, so I would say he should be wrangling it, but not completely necessary at this point um, uh oh, there is a spy right behind him, we'll stick on double desk cam, see if he can't get anything, does he get, he does get the kill on Cognity right there, so that sentry gun is going down unless the pyro's running home wrecker, which I do not think he is, that dispenser is going to be up, so that's going to be nice for his team, but here comes an uber pyro, who goes straight for the dispenser, oh, can he get the dispenser, um, fake master PT doing some work with that flamethrower, and almost, um, just only three up right now for red team and uh, equals nine is going to have to fall back immediately and set up another defensive position at the last point which is very easy to, to defend so we'll see um, what they decide to do with that although Cognity wherever he went just went down with his mini with his sentry so I don't think he was setting up the last point I think he was trying to be a little too far forward right there which is not a good idea turtle getting a nice 2k uh, rocket oh look at these reflex going on by fake master PT proving himself to be he's a very good uh, pyro right now so gotta watch out for that he did go down eventually to heavy's minigun which you cannot reflect I've tried you can't reflect bullets I uh, don't agree with that physics, but <laughs> whatever. Meanwhile, the other pyro, oh, doing some nice work too, but cannot reflect a knife in your back. Oh, again, physics. Who needs it? Am I right, guys? Um, we have an uber charge coming out from Draco the dragon, pushing forward with his team, but actually he is so hurt right now, he can't push forward too much, but he is, he is doing it and does go down. Wow. He actually survived a lot longer than I thought he would have. Um, but Espada Sezepfu, the heavy now for Red, just doing a ton of work. Does he even have a... Okay, finally gets his medic on him. Um, right now, though, he got like a 3 or 4k streak in there. And not surprisingly, he is leading his team in points by more than double the next um, teammate. So, interesting. Um, not mm, something you want to see there. But remember, we have seen some roster switch up, some players changing classes. Um, Draco the Dragon, why are you using the regular um, bone saw? That is interesting. He is also on fire. Uh, I wonder if his heavy has a sandwich for him, but no, his, ha his heavy is being selfish and not sharing the sandwich. Finally, he does. He's like, oh, you're on fire? Let me. I guess I could give you my sandwich. Alright. So just taking a look at the scores, it's very interesting. Oh, but um, Espada Zepchu getting um, the medic down, Draco the Dragon for Team Awesome. So that's going to prevent their push a little bit. And why is this soldier out here with the... <laughs> Never mind, he got... Brada got a 2k with his um, equalizer out there. <laughs> I was going to say, what are you doing? But you know, he 
he obviously knows what he's doing, boys and girls, so don't question Brada. <laughs> and indeed in chat he um, has something to say about that too, with uh, a lot of smiley faces. Alright, so again we're seeing maybe something that needs to be changed with Borneo, which is the extremely turtle-heavy last point that can just go on forever if you are not familiar with the map. Um, meanwhile, Cuttlefish getting a nice kill right there on the heavy, just kind of surrounded him, even as he was overhealed, so nice K right there. Red is doing, um, good job of pushing up, let's see if this medic can escape the fires of, um, Shifty, and actually no, Dra Draco the Dragon goes down, Shifty manages to kill him off, so again, Team Awesome. Um, their push is just going to be delayed further and further. They need to get something together right here if they want to finish this match in the next 6 minutes and 10 seconds. Um, but Red is being very aggressive, pushing up very far. I'm not sure... I don't know. I mean, you... Obviously, it's, it's working for them because they're stopping any push from from Team Awesome, but generally when you have a last point that is very easy to, to defend, you kind of just sit there and then wait for the opposing team to fall in and attack. But that is, but um, just uh, Equals 9 has not been um, content to do that. If you look right here, they have an Uber, they're gonna push up with this Uber, absolutely ridiculous, but it's working. Um, Jimmy Dispo pops it on Brada, taking down um, the pyro actually not able to get anything else with that. So Jimmy is going to fall back. Um, he's got to worry about a mini sentry gun somewhere that is taking pot shots on him. Um, bottle comes out. Zahasas gets double death right there. Nice work. Um, there is that pesky mini sentry gun, but Zahasas takes it down again. Hasas, Hasas, Hasas. Sounds cooler. Putting down or throwing out some pills, but he definitely wants to get done some stickies, because those are such a great defensive weapon right here. Um, but can't... Oh, actually does get to turtle there on the point uh, on the cart as he goes flying there, but there's only three up right now. Four equals nine. They do have to... Uh, Team Awesome does have to deal with the level three sentry gun as they come in there, and Cognity just takes them out. Team Awesome was not expecting that, which is not acceptable. Their spy should have called that out a while ago. Um, and look at that. Just the numbers completely reversed there, then only three up for Team Awesome, as they had an excellent opportunity to push, but just completely wasted it. So, very unfortunate right there. Um, Draco has switched to crits. Interesting. Not sure I agree with this, especially since it should have been called out there. There is a level 3 sentry gun in there, and the best weapon against level 3 sentry gun is an uber. However, with the crits, they'll be able to possibly get those, um, kills, but not necessarily that level 3 sentry gun. So we're gonna stick in the Draco Dragon Cam and see what he can do with this crits. I'm I'm still not, um, I don't know about this. If um, they get a coordinated attack with the spy coming in there maybe and taking a sapper, but um, right now, oh, Draco the dragon is looking so scared. He needs to pop it. He has popped it, um, but not able to do anything. Pulls out the bone saw on that heavy, but not going to happen. Okay, so that was extremely fail push right there. Um, if they had an uber, it would be definitely a different story. Uh, let's see if Double Death can get this kill. He does manage to take down Cognity with his revolver, but that sentry gun was unsapped just in time, so that sentry gun is going to stay up. So Team Awesome is just having a little trouble coordinating their attacks. If um, they had done that spy and sapper action with the crits, it would have been a much more successful push. But, uh, of course, hindsight, or whatever. But right now we got Blackout Avenger is um, sniping now. Was he sniping before? Anyway. Um, we'll see. Oh no, Draco the Dragon is still on crits. I do not agree with this. Um, they saw how not effective that was. The first push they had. So, um, and the level 3 Sentry Gun, Sentry Gun is still up. So, just not a good idea right there. Oh well. Oh well indeed though. Um, watching Fake Master PT as he tries to push in. 
he knows that Sentry Gun is there and he's not going to die to it again. <laughs> At least he's going to try not to. Um, but taking a lot of spam from Adem right now and um, here comes the crits and crits is not going to do anything um, when it comes to a level 3 Sentry Gun. And Zahasis got a couple of stickies down in there too. So Draco and his... Heavy just went down immediately. Zahasis getting some more nice stickies down, taking down Turtle and Dr. Demo. So Zahasis proving himself to be a very uh, formidable Demo opponent, at least when it comes time to offense. Um, he knows this is a spy, bringing out the bottle and um, get some damage on there. <laughs> Don't worry, Zahasis, he's dead. You you did your you did your duty. But we'll stick on his cam because he's been getting some nice K's. He's actually in the middle of his um, team on points, which is surprising to me. But look how far Red is pushed up right now. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, look at this. They don't even have an Uber, but um, Jimmy is pushing up with his heavy so far. Look at this. What? What? I, there are no words. Where is Jimmy at this point, even? Um... What? We're just gonna follow Espalda, Espada, um, as he spawn camps. You know, why not? Okay, he goes down eventually. They knew he was out there, so he did not have a lot of time left on his his clock of life. Um, but meanwhile, you know, there's no harm in pushing that far forward when you have a level 3 sentry gun defending this last push. But, you know, it can easily backfire. Right now, Jimmy goes down again, so they're not going to have that defensive medic in time. They're not going to have an Uber or anything pushed up, and so this is where it gets tricky, and it can come back to haunt you that very far push up because all of blue right now is on the card but look at this cognity is just doing some work with that sentry gun oh no sapper goes down um cognity doesn't know it but he's got that sniper there to pan double death oh my goodness cognity does go down the sentry is still alive is there anybody up for blue though to continue this push no it looks like it that actually may be it we are in overtime but there we go <laughs> Woo. Uh, equals nine successfully defends that last point. Absolutely crazy. Um, definitely looked like Team Awesome was going to have it after that first push. They are just looking so dominant and so, so strong. But uh, they're just not able to overcome that last point of Borneo, which is so turtle heavy, so annoying, so fun though, right? <laughs> All right, we'll see what kind of um, setup Red dis uh, Team Awesome decides to put up. Looks like TJB, the engineer for Team Awesome, is a little more coordinated than Cognity was. He has got the suicides going on. He has got his uh, positioning pretty well decided. It is the same position Cognity decided to go for eventually. But actually, was there only two suicides? I think the Pyro may have taken um, TJB's medal there because there should have been more metal. But anyway, he's got his teleporter up, his dispenser, looking pretty good. We haven't gone over rosters yet, so real quick, Drago the Dragon is Medic, Fake Master PT is Pyro, Turtle is Soldier, Unforgiven is Demo, TJB is, is Engineer, Cuttlefish is Scout, Pig, Pigant is Sniper, Double Death is Spy, and Dr. Demo is Demo. TJB is wrangling that sentry gun. Look at how his, that beautiful sight line he had on the heavy right there. Um, does have to deal with this incoming Uber, but just blown away, and that Uber is not doing anything. Meanwhile, look at Draco the Dragon and Unforgiven just mowing the opposing team down right there. Excellent defensive positioning. Just able to get the two um, two doors from the sponge. But oh no, Zahasa is getting a nice pill underneath Draco, taking him down. This heavy does not know there is an engineer behind him. Wow, Cognity getting the kill on the heavy. Some nice work right there. Now creeping up, doing his offensive engineer job. Oh no, TJB went down to a headshot, and there goes his gun immediately. You gotta have that NG there, but we still have his um, teleporter up. Oh no, Telly's been sapped. Uh, Cuttlefish finds out Sorta the uh, sort of the spy but not gonna be able to do a ton with that and look at how 
fast and hard equals nine is pushing. This uh, first part on Borneo is just very hard for these teams to defend. Uh, I think it could be due to sentry positioning, could be um, uh, other defensive positioning, but both teams have just shown they d um, to either be really, really strong offensively or just not um, completely comfortable with defending for long periods of time with the, uh, for that first point. So, we will see what they can do with this second point. Much easier to defend. You do have to watch out for spies and everything coming in because you're very exposed as an engineer. You also have to worry about um, snipers and soldiers from across the way spamming you. Um, but it looks like they have a great positioning right here. Their pyro is kind of roaming all around, which is something you need. Uh oh, another pyro coming in from behind. But looks like Draco has 100% uber right now. They have a great advantage. We'll see if they decide to use it. Um, should pop it immediately. And this they do. Unforgiven. Taking down Brada. Taking down Shifty. Taking down... Ah, J well, Cuttlefish got Jimmy. So we'll give Cuttlefish some credit right there. We're taking down the opposing medic. So nice defensive push. Just look how far they pushed. Um, equals 9 back right here. So Team Awesome... Definitely wanting to secure this position for as long as possible and doing probably the best job they can do right now. Um, what are you doing, Unforgiven? Oh! Taken down. What just happened? Unforgiven going down to um, Shifty, it looks like. It's mad Shifty. He added the mad part in front of his name. <laughs> oh, these teams crack me up already. We were only on the first round, so remember, it is the first to two round victories, so we may be in for a long but entertaining ride on Borneo. Ooh, the medic got bonked from across the way, so unfortunately right there, but it looks like Draco was able to um, back up and survive. Zahasis, again, getting some nice stickies in there. Um... Blackbird Avenger is saying WTF and wonder what happened right there. But um, Cuttlefish trying to take on Shifty right there, but Unforgiven taking that kill from him. How rude. Here comes the red Uber popped again on Unforgiven. You know, there's a reason why the heavy medic combination is so lethal, is because they're awesome together and just mowing down people. Jimmy, the medic for the other team, goes down. And oh man, Jimmy hasn't had an Uber in a while right now. So, um, ooh. Sorta of getting a nice kill on Turtle from behind on the bridge. But right now, I would say the primary goal for Equals 9 right now is to get an Uber up, because they have not had an Uber in a while. Um, <laughs> that heavy is awesome looking. Anyway. Um, someone's saying Dr. Demo MVP. Um, Maybe sarcasm because he is bottom scoring in his team right now. But mm, I don't know about that. No, I'll just talk in this voice for a little bit longer. There we go. And Draco has got his Uber up again, but looks like Espada, who is now the medic, okay. He was the heavy before, but looks like he and Jimmy switched positions. And he has that Uber up, so taking in Brada, I believe, the the soldier. Not the best idea to take down a sentry gun, but actually Brada taking down TJB, so the engineer is down. Can he get the sentry gun? No, Brada goes down, but here comes some demo spam. Maybe that'll do it. No, but where is the rest of equals nine right now? Okay, finally, sentry gun does go down. Blackout Avenger with some pills takes it down, and this medic is all alone. Oh, Draco, what are you doing, sir? Getting the defense on the cart for a second, but he is so almost dead right now. And that cart is so close. How is Draco still alive? 11 health. Where is that? What? That is one magic m medic. That is unbelievable. He should not have survived that. At least, should have died at least three or four times right there. It gets a sandwich. All right, so he's going to survive. Absolutely ridiculous. With a 40% uber charge. Um, he's in the tunnel right now, so he could easily be spammed down. Mm, but can equals nine get in here? Time is almost up. Oh my god, and they do. Barely. Brada just gets it and caps that 
point and they're pushing into the tunnel. They don't even care that there's a sentry gun behind them, but actually, um, the demo there taking care of that. So, absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Ah, that was crazy. So they have 7 minutes and 14 seconds left to push the way all the way to the end, which is completely possible. Um, especially now that um, they have a new medic who has already worked up another uber. So, Espada Sepfew um, has some tricks up his sleeve that he needs to share with Jimmy, I think. Uh-oh, there is a spy on him. I think he's a... W nope. He's healing him. Okay. <laughs> Getting, finally, okay, taking him down. He does have that 100% uber. Um, they need to push the cart, though. Need to be getting these. Um, Fake Master PT doing a nice job defending as Pyro right there. But not able to do too much. And there's no sentry gun up right now. Brada getting a nice 2k right there. He's been proving himself to be an excellent soldier right there. Getting, again, another kill on Turtle. So, um, I was skeptical at first about, um him getting some of these ubers but he is just proving himself to have excellent aim and excellent um, positioning awareness to know when people are going to be where and how he can get capitalized on one rocket so equals nine is continuing this push and look at this doing an um somewhat interesting job right there Um, sorry, I'm trying to think of um, the rules for winning, and all they have to do is cap this last point and they will be able to win it otherwise. Um, I'm confused about the timer. I think something maybe messed up with the timer. Sorry for the awkward pauses. I'm just very confused right now. But anyway, all team, um, all team also needs to do is to defend it. Um, for the entire time, and all equals nine has to do is get into the last. So we'll see who comes out first in this. Sorry, there's a terrible explana explanation. I'm still kind of confused. But anyway, we'll watch Turtle as he tries to get this K on the medic, but no, he goes down. Brada taking him down again. So Brada, again, showing himself to be very um, capable as a soldier and a medic's best friend, apparently. Which is, you know, something you don't necessarily see in Highlander. You usually see that medic-soldier uh, combination more on sixes. Um, here comes you, the red uber. Oh, Espada trying to get back but not able to do so. Unforgiven mowing through the opposing team right there. Taking down Espada and um, Jimmy as well. So, that'll push back equals nine in their um, their forward push, obviously. So it will take them a little bit longer to get that uber up and that positioning they want to to um, continue their forward momentum. We'll stick on the pignet cam for a sec because we haven't seen much sniping action right here. Um, actually, he's probably not going to see too much because this is a hard uh, angle to get around it. Oh, he actually does get a shot on Jimmy and takes him down, so yes, nice work right there. As I was saying, this is a, a nice positioning for a sniper to get around the corner. Um, look at, Take a look at scores real quick. Um, we see the heavy medic combos are first and second for both teams, and then pyros, then soldiers, and actually, oh, I thought the teams were... Um, completely even, but, but no, looks like the um, engineer and scouts sw have switched positions. <laughs> That's really funny. Pignant getting a nice K right there on Blackout Avenger, his opposing sniper. So we're just stick on his cam for a sec, because he's already gotten a couple of nice kills. Oh, can't um, get that pyro, but he has not given up yet. Oh, I always feel like I have to hold my breath for him. Um, but no, it's alright, he can do it by himself. <laughs> He's being challenged right there by the spy, but um, with some help, Sordos gets taken down. Medic is... has got a crosshair on his head, so uh, Spot has got to be scared right now, especially with the 100% uber he's holding. Um, we'll see if they decide to pop in there soon. They probably should. 
uh, Unforgiven is taken down. Black and Avenger getting nice keys right there with his uh, Force of Nature. Um, Espada finally pops that Uber on who else but Brada. Taking down Fake Master PT, the Pyro, but is that Sentry Gun down is the question. Let us see. It is not. It is wrangled and it is scary. But Brada getting in here trying to spam him down, um, not able to do so. And indeed, he gets himself and his meta killed. So unfortunate right there. And they are running out of time. Equals 9 has to get something going on if they want to take this first round. Oh wow, Shifty doing a nice job right there, getting some fire on that heavy and then blasting him away. I actually thought he was completely dead right there, but that shows how good I am as a pyro. Just use... I am completely I'm one pyro. Um, I should probably get some pyro skills, pyro lessons, so I stop embarrassing myself. Shifty doing a nice job extinguishing his teammates. He's actually worked his way up to, um, oh, nope, now he's down again. <laughs> but um, look at how he got in behind. Oh, unfortunately, double, um, Unforgiven knew he was there. He did manage to set the medic on fire, but the medic is still alive. Look at this push. It's just the heavy and engineer just barreling down, but Cuttlefish gets in right behind him. They did not know. Did take him down right there. Um, there's no sentry gun, so right now is the time for Equals 9 to push if they want to. They almost have an Uber, Espada. Definitely wants to use this Uber to push in here. What does that? <laughs> Those are words. Um, I'm just scared because I, I, for everybody right now, um, we'll just stick on this the cam for on the cart cam because that's what's important right now. If that cart makes it, you know, six more feet into the pit, that means that equals nine wins this first round. Oh, Jimmy goes down. Why wasn't the Uber popped on him? So unfortunate. Here comes Brada. The Uber is popped on him. But, oh, it's probably too late. Look at this medic. What is he doing right now? He's just sitting on the cart. Actually managed to survive way too long. Who pushed that in? What? How did that get in? That was... Sorry, my voice is really high right now. But that was insane. So, equals nine. Able to pull out the round win. So, that is, brings it to one nothing equals nine. So we'll be back with the second round. And here we are with the second half. We're gonna watch, um, oh shush, Echo, shush. I hope you can't hear that. Anyway, we're watching TJB's rollout, um, as he rolls out, or actually just, you know, walks leisurely and, um, threatens you with his wrench. You run in the jag. Um, not a fan of the jag. Supposedly it will give you a slight advantage in speed in building up your sentries, but um, honestly I haven't found it that um, that advantageous, and I'd rather have, you know, the southern hospitality, I mean, yes, that's what it's called, and have that um, alternative damage. So uh, there's a lot of uh, discussion about the jag. Anyway, um, while in the break, I thought I'd let you know that the weather in Borneo is lovely right now. It is about uh, 78 degrees Fahrenheit with uh, limited visibility, but very calm. But tomorrow they are expecting scattered thunderstorms, so if you are packing for Borneo, make sure you bring that raincoat. Alright, we are going to watch uh, Espalda Sepfu and his rollout, I can only assume, is a he. I'm not familiar with my, um, I don't know what language that is. Um, anyway, uh, Cuttlefish has called the heavy med right. He is definitely correct in that there. Going for the sentry gun, Espelda forced to get that. Again, the pyro just completely destroys the sentry gun. Not sure where the, um, red pyro was. Fake Master PT was in that. He should have been air blasting that pyro away. Red Uber is popped as they try to defend, but, um, Draco, the dragon goes down. TJB is still up. His dispenser and teleporter are still up, um, so he will probably come back and try to get some defense right there. Meanwhile, Picnic getting some nice headshots. We'll see if he can get, can't get this Pyro on the point who's doing a nice job of dodging and just being so, so annoying. And But Picnic not able to do it. Going for a no-scope on the heavy. Actually doing a lot of damage and Jimmy Jizzball is um, very hurt right there, so we're going to have to fall back. Meanwhile, we'll watch um, Scorpion Eddie for E equals 9 on a sniper. See if he can't get a 
important headshot, uh, not actually finding anybody right there. So we'll go to Dr. Demos cam, getting in actually behind the carts. Excellent positioning over here, but he needs to use a sticky gun. Oh, he had so little health right there. Um, yeah, not a fan of the, um, of the lock and load right there because that pill damage, especially when you have the larger clip and the bouncing pill damage is so much more effective, I feel like. At least it is for me. Um, but that's because I am a spammer demo. Anyway, we're watching uh, Equals 9 doing a great job pushing through. Um, love those XTV particles. <laughs> if you're interested in my HUD, I will uh, post the link for it. It is Dropbox, Dropbox link. So um, you can have that uh, also be a part of the XTV family. Anyway. E uh, Q9 still having uh, has reached a little point of um, stagnation in their push right here because they do have to round this corner. Heavy going down. Shift. Uh, I'm sorry. That's Fake Master PT getting some nice kills in there, but goes down to Scorpion Eddie's headshot. Let's see what kind of setup we have. But um, LTJB has not managed to get his Sentry Gun up very much. Does he even have a dispenser? No, he's got a teleporter not sure about that uh, usually you I mean definitely you want that dispenser before the teleporter um, Sordas going down Sordas interesting enough is now on scout he was spy before who is spy now Blackout Avenger is spy four e equals nine so they have been definitely doing some interesting roster changes uh, we'll see how that affects them Brada getting the uber once again but he is so low on health right now he needs that uber flash otherwise he's going down not getting it. The medic is flashing the engineer instead of him. Oh man, double death gets Brada going down. Oh man, um, double death doing a good job defending the point. Same with um, Big Master PT. Um, oh, he's got the home ranker that does not do a lot of um, melee damage. So I definitely want to stick with that. Um, the the degreaser equalized. I'm not the degreaser flare gun one two punch as a pyro. Um, if you're running the home wrecker. Of course, if you have that extinguisher, you would definitely want to go with that as your one three punch, if you will. So we'll stick on a Fake Master PT, getting a nice reflect right there, but actually not getting it into um, Brada. Super hurt right now. Oh, the scout stole his health. Oh, cuttlefish. Uh, and then sarcastically thanks him. Anyway, <laughs> we'll see who has a little bit more health. See what type of positioning we have here on blue. Espada is take it, took a lot of damage, actually. Oh no, spy behind the medic. Is this going to happen? Definitely, Espada definitely does not want it to happen. Because um, he is so close to Uber right now, but he goes down. Oh, really unfortunate there. He was totally out of positioning. Should have fallen back as soon as that Uber came out. And as soon as he actually took, he was at like 40, 37 health, and he was just still in the front line. So, not great a move right there. And now he's, um, Espada has switched back to heavy. Currently, we have two heavies. Um, I'm guessing Jimmy is going to go medic. Yes, Jimmy has gone medic. So, again, ridiculous. Um, I don't know how they're managing to do it. it it's got to be crazy trying to figure out who's going or what class win. Um, there's a spy on the medic and the cart, but he goes down black out Avenger. Um, actually managed to get two stabs before he get, went down to the center gun right there, using the spicicle, making some beautiful, beautiful artwork that will be shown, um, I'm pretty sure, in the... Museum of Modern Art later this fall. You can go see it there on display next to Van Gogh. Black Eyed Avenger, uh, amateur artist. Didn't know if you knew that. <laughs> yes, uh, I bring you not only weather, but um, cultural tips about where to see the latest um, in American art. Oh, these aren't Americans, are they? Oh, so it'll be in the Louvre. All right, anyway. Red putting up a pretty staunch defense right here. Um, Draco does have 100% uber, so he will be able to pop that whenever he feels threatened. Getting a sandwich from his heavy... Oh, the scout took the sandwich again! Oh man, cuttlefish. You're killing your team here. Actually, he's not, because the medic was able to fall back and get enough health. So, no harm, no foul. Uh, TJB, let's see, is that just a level 1? Yeah, so his sentry did go down. Let's see if that... I mean, the jag gives you approximately an advantage of maybe one hit, so about 25 metal on that um, hit. It's just it's just not worth it. I don't like it. Um, meanwhile, Blue's having a rough time putting together a push. Um, could be due to the fact that they have changed um, medics like three times in the last minute. Um, could be just this is a very nice defense. We're going to stick on Cuttlefish's cam because I never get enough scout action, and Cuttlefish is a very capable scout, although he's a... Uh, 
second in his team in points right now, but it is tough to be a scout on payload defense. Because <laughs> um, you try to get these flanks, but um, Borneo is not the easiest map to flank on. There are a lot of opportunities, but there are these gates that close and um, you know won't let you in otherwise from the if you're on the wrong side. So if you have to be familiar with the map, and of course um, this is the first time this map has been played competitively to my knowledge. Double Death getting a Sapper down, but Cog Nitty uh, managing to get that whack on them. Oh, Double Death is so in the danger zone, but gets that kill on uh, a Blackout Avenger is now... no. Sorry, I'm just really confused about the roster still. Okay, so Blackout Avenger is now a scout. Espalda is... Espada is heavy, and Jimmy is still on a medic. Meanwhile, some of the classes have stayed consistent, like Cognity has been on, um... has been on Engineer the whole time. As well as Zahasis has been on Demo. He's been proving himself to be a pretty good Demo. Can Pignant get this kill on the Heavy who's on fire in the corner? And definitely does with a body shot, so he stayed with it. Draco still has, um, not still, I think he did pop that uber, but so he is back on an uber. Double death, meanwhile, getting some nice kills. Oh, but gets taken down to Jimmy. Jimmy's running crits. Interesting. That's all I have to say right there. We will see if it helps out. They do, they're gonna run into that level 3 sentry gun, and of course crits is not gonna take it out. So right now they just want the frags, the kills. Um, oh, but not gonna get it when Cuttlefish comes up behind and takes down a Jimmy with a nice scattergun shot. They are going to try to push right here. They need to take down the Sentry Gun. It is level 3. Here goes the Sapper. Some nice coordinated teamwork, but the Sapper goes down immediately. And oh, here comes Dr. Demo cleaning up, taking out Shifty and Zahasis. So that push is over for equals 9. Meanwhile, Draco Dragon sees a scout on the point and just pulls out his Uber. Excellent medic play right there just to prevent uh, that cap. Uh, and help has his, gets help from his sniper to take down that scout. Cart is so close right now, and we are in less than a minute. Time is ticking. Can EQ9 take this cart the extra... S yes, they do manage to take it. The extra feet um, creep in behind the cart from the sentry gun, protected, and are now just going through the tunnel. Oh, wow. Scorpion Eddie takes down the sentry gun with a one meat shot, although I know I don't think it's really a meat shot if it's on a sentry gun, more like a body shot, I guess. Oh, and here comes Cognity with his metal fist, taking down some NG equipment. But yeah, so that sentry gun went down very easily, interesting. Uh, so it was super, super damaged from that. Uh, Turtle comes in and gets a nice kill on Espada. That is going to delay Eagles 9's push significantly. Uh, they have been pretty dependent on their Uber to push, which is, um, I mean, you understand it with Highlander, but sometimes you can be too dependent on that. Dr. Demo getting a 2k right there, taking out Sordis and Scorpion Eddie. Nice job right there, double death, 1k, 2k, oh, the Pyro jumped away, but Pyro's not spy checking, oh, that's a huge mistake, oh, and double death takes down Shifty. So he had a 3k right there, and still going. Is he covered in pee? He is covered in pee, but that's not going to... actually, he's not managed to escape that Jirate. Uh, we'll see if he can't get another kill in here. <laughs> He's just swiping and stabbing anything he gets and takes down his opposing spy. Super hurt right now. But he, see he sees that heavy. He wants that heavy. Heavy knows he's there, though. Uh, and spy checking and double death finally goes down after a four kill streak. So a nice work right there. Looks like we are missing the heavy for team... Oh, nice. Nice kill right there. Um... Forward, team awesome. Oh, and Pignet takes down Zahasis with another no scope shot. So he's doing, doing getting kind of lucky with those, probably just running into people who are super hurt. Uh, we'll see if he can't take down this heavy who looks like he is pretty healed. And uh, no, Jimmy takes down Pignet. So equals nine. Oh, Turtle coming in and getting another nice bombing soldier kill on Espada, the medic. Oh, Espada was probably pushed up way a little too far without an Uber. Um, but Turtle just doing some nice bombing soldier work, uh, which is really uh, a hugely valuable skill uh, as a soldier for Highlander. It's something that you see a lot with sixes, so if you do get that with a Highlander a soldier, it's so, so valuable. And a lot of times, Highlander teams just don't know how to protect against that. Oh, Scorpion Eddie, you are so dead. Yes, indeed, <laughs> he, is, he is dead. Um, 
Okay, so Blackout Avenger is now medic for blue. Interesting. And he has a pretty cool helmet. Is he He's, I think he's using the Pyrovision. That's interesting, because uh, you won't be able to get the full scope of it, because this is a custom map, but you will have some fun stuff. Oh, there is a spy right behind you. Oh, missing the swipe! Oh, finally Double Death gets that kill on Blackout Avenger. Blackout Avenger just was not checking his back and did not have any um, support either with the spy checking. So, again, that... I, I just I just don't understand why um, E equals 9 is switching up their medic so often. Medic is a class you want solid the entire time. But you know, in baseball sometimes they have bullpens or a closer by committee, which means um, a closer by bullpen just means that a bunch of players will come in and close out the game instead of one player getting those final three outs. You have like three people getting those final three outs. So maybe that's what's going on here. You have a medic by committee. I hope my European um, viewers got that analogy. I, don't, I doubt my American viewers did. I'm a huge baseball freak, by the way. So um, there's so many parallels like a draw between 2F2 and uh, baseball. Nine players. They play. Um, okay, that's probably all the parallels I got right there. Anyway, we have Maximus who is joined in as heavy. Um, so we'll see how that changes the team dynamic right here. Shifty doing some Nispet chicken and has got, um, took down, no, who's, who's spying now? Espada is now spy for blue. Who is red, red spy is still, um, double death, duh. The, um, Sentry Gun is still up for red, so E equals 9 is going to have a hard time pushing into this. Also, Dr. Demo is um, doing a nice job putting down some stickies, and looks like he, he got a few lock and load kills, so not doing bad. Um, Draco has that Uber, needs to pop it, but did not pop it. Goes down to Zahasis, who is now being heavy. Um, Blackouts uh, has a Blackout Avenger has now gone Demo. <laughs> All right, so there goes that consistency in the demo class. Here comes Blue's final push. They have 12 seconds left. Can they do it? This Wrangle Sentry Gun is going to be a huge pain. And these stickies on the point are also going to be a huge pain. Oh no, can Dr. Demo get those last stickies in there? The medic is just standing on the point. Draco is just giving up his life. The Sentry Gun is trying his hardest. And actually, they're going to be able to defend it. Oh my god, look at that. Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. These teams are so evenly matched. It's amazing. All right, so we're going to see if Team Awesome can get to that third point. If they do, they will automatically win. Or if they cap the first two points in less than the time it took for equals nine to do it. Uh, we are going to keep a close eye on how Cognity sets up for this defense. Because if you remember the first round, he just did not have a defense on this first point, And he is actually... Oh dear. I think he's not familiar with the map and has gotten turned around because now he's heading towards last point. He's also has his gunslinger. Um, I think Red is just not familiar with this point because they are not set up very well for this first point. Oh god, I'm scared for for equals nine. They just don't have any engineer stuff. No teleporter. It's going to be hard for them to get back to the front lines. Ugh. Oof. Ugh. Those, those, that's, that's all I have to say about that. So, um, we'll watch the Sordas cam, um, now on Sniper. Formerly he was Spy. I think he did Scout for a second or two. I don't think he's done Medic, though, so maybe he'll be next. Watching the, the cart very closely with his Sniper Dot trained on that metal door. No one's coming out of there right now, though. Uh, yeah, not looking like he's got the... Whoop! Stupid scoped in sniper. Yeah, it doesn't have the best pick on it. Espada is now spy and actually got two Ks in there. Um, taking down Jimmy, I believe. That's the medic. Oh, wait, sorry. No, taking down um, Double Death. But anyway, the sentry gun is only at level one. Oh, poor Cognity just not familiar with the map. But actually, he's gotten two kills with it. Uh, level one sentry gun finally going down. He actually got sniped down by Pignet. Uh, yep, that level 1 sentry gun can be sniped very easily with one charged shot. Medic is still holding Uber right there, Draco. Um, we'll see what he decides to do with that. Looks like they're going to be pushing in. Probably would be a good time to pop it, take down Blackout Adventure, this demo. 
Uh, actually still hasn't popped it yet, but Draco does not want to drop this. Oh no, he did drop it! Uh, Spada gets a stab, and three stabs, four stabs of Spada before he blows up. Oh my goodness, why was he medic? He's an amazing spy. <laughs> that was just very brilliant. Um, manages to get huge classes in there and make the medic drop. Unfortunately, though, the rest of his team is MIA, and that cart is being pushed very fast by Team Awesome Hybrid. So, uh, we'll see if... Oh, here comes some big stickies from Blackout Avenger doing some nice work defending that cart. A little bit hurt right now, but he looks like he wants to go for a flank, getting some stickies from behind. Uh, misses a little bit with that one. Oh, he's going to set up some sticky traps over this uh, gate. Not a bad idea. Oh, sees a spy coming out and gets that kill. Very astute right play right there. Oh no, but was not aware of Shifty right behind him. So a little less astute, but that's okay. Doesn't matter, got the spy. That's how the saying goes, right? Got the spy. Spy's most important class. Brada decides to do some flying and um, <laughs> actually doesn't take too much fall damage right there. Uh, oh, there's a health kit right there, Brada. You maybe should have gotten that. I, I just don't think this uh, equals nine team is that familiar with this map. Um, Brada, though, getting a nice kill right there. Um, doesn't have auto reload on, which kind of drives me crazy. Um, taking some milk also. He was thirsty though. He just poured his cereal. He needed some milk. Can't blame him right there. Joyko has 100% Uber. We'll see if Team Awesome decides to push in with this. They do have um, most of their heavy classes alive. They are missing Turtle. Turtle has been pretty important getting those soldier bombs, but here comes the Uber taking down the sentry gun very easily, taking down Jimmy the medic, doing a great job right here. They need the rest of the team to be on the cart pushing though. Where is the rest of Team Awesome? Um, there we go, and that means they capped that second point in less time than E equals 9 did. So, quick round 2, but, but, that means we're going to a round 3. Exciting stuff right there. Here are the scores. Um, because E equals 9 has been so crazy with their medic switch-ups, it's hard to tell what class has been um, getting the most points right here. But anyway, we will be back with the third round in just one second. Don't go anywhere. And here we are with the third round. I hope you're ready. Um, weather update from Borneo. Actually, I am doing the weather from Samarinda, which is one of the larger cities in Borneo, as so Wikipedia tells me, at least. Um, scattered thunderstorms, north, uh, high humidity, and high chance of rain. So, um, again, raincoats, guys. Raincoats. And boots. Rain boots, too. Very important. I'm guessing it'd be muddy. Anyway, um, this does not look like what I think of when I think of um, Borneo, now that I know what it is. But I imagine it'd be... I don't know. Is this Borneo? Has anyone been to Borneo? Can you confirm or deny that this is what Borneo looks like? I should have uh, Google imaged it. Oh, well. We need to concentrate. We have a game going on here. We have um, typical setup from TJB. He's been doing the same thing all three rounds. I would like to see a little bit more creativity. I personally love my sentry gun right here for this map, or uh, turn the on this side because then you could just spam down the cart. Um, but you know what? Um, neither team has been very successful in holding this first point, so maybe it's not that important for these teams, and they've been uh, a little more successful with the second point hold. Jimmy pops his uber on Brada again. Brada managing to get a f 1k in there, but oh, double death getting blackout and Zahasas. Again, spy going big, big, big. These spies have been excellent. Oh, here comes the uber pop. Perfect pop. Look at that. Oh, man. Maximus is just mowing down everyone. Only two up right now for blue, and those are respawns. So excellently timed um, uber pop right there from Draco. So he's been a very consistent medic in this match. Definitely knows the dynamics of his team and probably doing some good calling right there. A little bit out of position, but actually manages to go down. So no harm, no foul. Sentry gun is down. Not sure what happened there because I was too distracted by uh, everything else. 
but uh, Sentry Gun is down. Oh, Black Avenger gets Maximus with a pill in the face. Um, Draco has to fall back. He doesn't have a medic or uh, heavy with him, so he needs to. Just, yeah, he's gonna fall back to the other point, uh, to the second point, and um, just concede first right now. So Team Awesome having trouble again holding this first point. Um, but oh well, they're gonna try for this um, heavy um, defense on the second point, which is easier to hold. And we'll see if they're able to do that. I'm gonna watch Turtle, because Turtle is fun to say. Um, doing this little jump right there, trying to find out the medic. Oh, this heavy did not see he was there. Oh, missing a few of these rockets, and actually does manage to get uh, Zahasis, who is. Oh, and he escapes with one health. No, he doesn't. Brada comes in. He's got that Uber on him. We'll see if Brada can do anything more with that. He's going for the sentry gun, but the sentry gun is wrangled and will not take a lot of damage. Uber for red is popped in retaliation. They really want this medic, and they do get Jimmy. Jimmy is down. So Maximus um, doing a lot with these Ubers, getting the medic both times. So that's exactly what you want. Pulling out those uh, fists of steel, so shiny, so beautiful, and Betty polishes them every day. Ooh, taking a lot of damage there and needs to fall back. We'll see what Cuttlefish can do on the flanks this time around. Uh, had a little trouble last time. Still, oh, the <laughs> scores were reset. Cuttlefish has scored more than one point this entire game, I guarantee. Uh, he's had a couple of nice meta kills, actually, so we will let him do his thing and watch the kill feed. Espada, Zep, Zep few which I'm pretty sure translate to um, Salmon Sushi Roll, um, goes down to Fake Master PT. Fake Master, one day hoping to be a real master. But he's got to catch all the Pokemon, so you know what they say. That's pretty hard, especially now that there are like three million of them. Um, Sordas has switched to Soda Popper, I believe, because he was Sniper. Oh man, this this team. Eagles 9 is driving me crazy. Um, he's got that charge and he is trying to sneak up on the cart, not able to do it. Um, some stickies come in there from Dr. Demo. We'll see if Scorpion Eddie can't get anything. Has he been? He has not been sniping this entire time. Um, Uber popped for blue as they try to get in again, popping it on Brada. Not exactly sure that is the best idea because that sentry gun is still up. Cuttlefish get it on the cart, and that Uber is popped, able to defend it. Some nice, nice defensive work right there. And again, Jimmy is down. Oh, so unfortunate for Eagles Nine, just not able to make the most of those Ubers. I think it's, I, I, I don't recommend the, the continued popping on Brada when you have a level three wrangled Sentry Gun. You do want that Soldier Spam, but you want the Soldier Spam from far away while a demo is up close, doing that ton of sticky damage that a demo is capable of doing. Um, oh, Double Death is right behind Jimmy, takes him down, takes down a Blackout Avenger too, and he is still alive, creeping around. What excellent spy work we've seen from Double Death. Um, speaking of spy work, here comes Ahasis, who is now spy, getting, uh, getting the, the NG right here. We'll see if that stuff is gonna go down, and it is. Pyro can't get there in time. I'm pretty sure that Fake Master PT is running the homework or so, but he was just out of position, not able to help out his NG right there. So right now is the time for Equals 9 to push. If they do, though, they're going to push into an Uber from Draco the Dragon. He's going to hold this as long as possible, I would assume. Although, I'm kind of scared because it looks like he wants to push in, which is not a good idea at this point. They have to, well, maybe. Uh, TJB wants to rebuild at this point, so it's not a terrible idea for Drake of the Dragon to take in this Uber to kind of push back Blue and give his NG some time, And um, but actually it looks like they just waited for that defensive pop, and Drake of the Dragon with his Heavy are just pushing back now, so they are going to be able to push back Blue and um, buy TJP a little bit of time. A little bit of time, it looks like. He is still at level 2. Okay, finally at level 3. Not finally, it took no regular amount of time that it takes. Um, but Maximus just mowing people down right now. He's doing a, not a huge amount of damage, but just getting some lucky kills, it looks like, from um, damage-ridden players who are, you know, already pretty hurt. Um, 
Cuttlefish cleaning up that kill on Blackout Avenger. Some nice teamwork right there, and um, Cuttlefish doing what scouts do best, which is basically clean up cl clean up kills. And um, you know, because scouts are so fast, they could just get in there and get out and get one a nice meat shot and be done. Looks like we have Unforgiven has rejoined the game. He was the heavy for the first two uh, first round and a half. Uh, we'll see if there's going to be any heavy drama. Uh, Double Death getting the sapper down, getting the kill down. Cognity is down. Teleport and Dispenser are down. That is going to be a huge advantage to Team Awesome in their defense because uh, Eagles 9 is not going to be able to have that quick response or that quick um, get those response to the front line quickly. You know what I'm trying to say. I, I, I do want to keep watching Double Death because he is leading the server in points right now. Uh, he just can't find anyone to kill though. Um, well, there we go. Finally found a heavy. Takes him down as he was eating. Pulled out his sandwich. Very rude. And um, looks like Double Death is going to do a little spawn camping and annoying the engineer. Which, as an NG main, makes me so mad. Okay, he does go down. Not dead ringing right there. Pignant, oh, trying to get um, a kill on uh, his supposing sniper, or the supposing medic gets taken down by a supposing sniper. Um, Scorpion Eddie has a really good positioning right here. I'm not sure why no one is taking him down. He's done a ton of damage. Okay, finally, uh, P uh, Master Fake Master PT is in there, but actually falls back. Um, you, why is nobody coming after him? Okay, it looks like Double Death is on the mission and does take down Scorpion Eddie. Uh, okay, so Rada has switched to uh, to demo right now. Uh, does go down to Double Death. Oh, Double Death getting Blackout Avenger to Double Death. This, this guy. Am I right? <laughs> Doing some great work. Very impressive spy work. Uh, I'll try to find his cam because he is um, getting in behind these lines just doing some great positioning. Uh, and it just Blue has not figured him out yet. It's just absolutely ridiculous. They should really be doing some better spy checking and just not turning their backs. Look, he's going to get this kill so easily on the medic. He does. Jimmy is down. That is going to stop e equals nines. Push right in their tracks. Sordis is trying to push up, but he is so low on health right now. Just going to take a flare shot or something to take him down. Actually, Fake Master PT falls back. Um, he is, Sordis is on fire, so he's got to watch out for that. Scorpion Eddie back in his sniping spot. Um, Uber is popped, though, ah, on the point, um, so Blue is not going to be able to push into this at all. Maximus is doing a, Maxi Mouse is doing a great job defending, and there we go. Team Awesome able to defend the second point. So, Equals 9 is going to have their work cut out for them for sure. They're going to have to defend that second point uh, very, very heftily. Oh, poor Cognity. Looks like he was not... He did not have the correct um, loadout he wanted. Oh, he's running the wrong way. He hasn't built a teleporter. Um, looks like he's just unfamiliar with this map, which is really unfortunate because an engineer can make or break a defense, obviously. Especially in Highlander. Ugh, makes me sad, but oh well. Blackout Avenger is now scout and running the force of nature. I don't know how long I thought it was the force of nature. Because you know force of nature makes sense. Force of nature doesn't make sense. But whatever. Valve does great work and uh, their naming schemes, though complicated and confuse me sometimes, I will forgive them for that. Alright. Jimmy has now been the medic for a solid two rounds, so it looks like they have decided he is uh, the good choice. And yes, that is Eckstein in the map. <laughs> That's what you get if you want the XTV official HUD. Not only you get XTV particles, but also Eckstein everywhere you want him to be. Red Uber popped very early. Um, Draco, however, is still in spawn, I believe. Uh-oh. Double Death is on the scene, takes down Sordis, and that enables his team to push, push, push that cart. The blue Uber is popped, um, but not able to get the sentry gun. It was popped, um, flashed to the pyro for a second right there. Um, I'm actually pretty surprised that Cognity was able to get a level 3 up. Um, 
So, not bad work right there. There is a sniper dot on his head. Where is that sniper? Oh, here come some stickies, and that center gun is down. Cognity is still alive, though. Uh, he needs to fall back. He is. Oh, no. Goes down. Turtle coming in with a nice, nice soldier bomb, taking him out. That is going to buy Blue a lot of good time. But if they cap this first point in less than 30 seconds, that's going to be round and match because they will have capped it in less time than it took uh, equals nine to do. But actually, that heavy and medic combination getting to the point just in time, they'll be able to defend this first point. So it looks like Team Austin is going to have to cap the second point if they want to win this round and thus the match. Now look at that, they're just piling up the stickies on the point. And uh, Sordas is just sitting there with his cent his. Mm oh no! Why was Jimmy so far up? He was at 80% Uber. Oh, so 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 unfortunate. Really out of position right there. Um, he was just going with his heavy, and his heavy was overextended. Ah, just not great work right there. But Draco has his Uber right now. Going to be pushing in with his heavy. I would guess relatively soon. Uh, Maximus decides to uh, take a sandwich break. Because why not? Spy in on the cart, but he got caught out by the spy check and pyro right there, which is something that equals nine has been lacking. You see right there, double death getting cognity the engineer, so there's not going to be a great NG setup uh, when blue pushes. Look at Draco, he's just constantly watching his back. Some very, very aware medic, and that's what you have to be if you want to play Highlander medic. Uh, here comes the pop. Need to get the medic right there. Jimmy is just not running away. What is he doing? Oh, oh, oh. So not great medic play right there. As soon as you see an Uber as a medic, you need to hide. And um, I don't know if he's aware, but this is glass. And uh, last time I checked, glass is see-through. Anyway, red setup. Red defense is just non-existent on the second point, and recall that all Blue has to do is cap the second point and they will win the round. They're just sending players in there one at a time. Oh, can they do it? The soldier is on it! Oh my god, so close, so close! But Turtle went down as um, Bra Brada was in there. Oh man, Jimmy knows what's up though right here. He's just sitting on the cart. He's actually kind of... No, he's not... If um, Blue comes with a flank from this side, he is not well protected at all. But right here, you can't see that he's there. Though you may be able to see those heal particles. So Blue is uh, giving it all they got for this last push. They have five and a half minutes, though, to do it. So they definitely uh, are not pressured for time. So they can take their time, sort out their positioning, and decide when is best to pop that Uber. Draco, again, just doing a good job checking his back, keeping all of his players overhealed. Uh, actually, Dr. Demo is super hurt right now. He needs to find him. Oh no, he went down. There's a level 2 sentry gun up. They're not going to have their demo here. But there is the pop. Level 3 right now. It's not being wrangled, so it will go down to the heavy. Draco is on the cart. Can he do it? Oh my god, who, who capped that? Turtle and Cuttlefish managed to get in there at the last second. As Jimmy was standing there, he was probably blown off. Very unfortunate, but what a close match. Look at those scores. That is the final double death, and Zahas is doing some great spy work. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly had fun casting it. Thank you so much to Cuttlefish for sending this to me. And Cuttlefish, FYI, the official designer of the Kip TV logo. Also excellent scout extraordinaire. So thanks for sending this in to me. I hope Team Awesome Hybrid and Eagles 9 had a great summer season. Hope to see them again in the fall season for UGC Highlander. So thanks for watching, guys. Remember to send in your demos to falafel1066 at yahoo.com. Follow me on Twitter and subscribe to my YouTube. Thanks for joining me, guys, and have a good day.